What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Celio's Network. So today I'm doing my tournament report from Charlotte Regionals. Also want to say that my uploads for YouTube and my streaming schedule is back on track now that I am back from Charlotte. So let, yeah, let's just get right into the report. So I played Zorak Lycanroc. The list here on the screen is the exact 60 that I played. Um, I don't want to go too much into the list because this deck has been analyzed over and over by many people. Um, but I do like the two parallel city because it's really good against any other Zorark, uh, variant that we might be matched up against. Um, I played the two Cynthia three and one Sycamore. I think I like that draw supporter lineup. Um, with Zorark, you don't really need an overabundance of, uh, draw support. So I think that did the trick. Uh, also, two Enhanced Hammers, again, for other Zorak variants that we're matched up against. Uh, I played the third Field Blower to get rid of opposing Parallel Cities, but it actually came in handy a lot uh, because I ended up playing against Garbotox in two rounds in a row. Um, no Max Potion, I ended up cutting that for the second Enhanced Hammer. Um, and I played Multi-Switch because I don't think you should ever play this deck without Multi-Switch. Uh, it's just one of the th it's just a key ingredient to making this deck busted so yeah uh let's get into it round one i played against solgaleo gx with the rayquaza that uh for a dce does 30 and attach two basic energy from the discard to one of your bench pokemon uh i don't think you get more round one in a regionals than playing against this it was pretty random of a deck um the person piloted it fairly well but you know it's a really really slow deck unfortunately i had a pretty slow start myself so he actually got set up um fortunately for me i was able to take down two solgaleo gx's and a lele with combination of two shotting them with zorarks and leles and also i dangerous rogued i think i dangerous rogued the solgaleo gx um but yeah, it was really, really frustrating because I had a slow start, so I couldn't take out his basics before they turned into Solgaleo GXs. Um, so I ended up taking a close game one, and then time was called like a few minutes later. So just one game played there, so uh, I got the win for round one. Uh, round two, I played against Duskmane Necrozma Garbodor, which is a deck I really, really like. Um, it's a bad matchup for me, and I know that because I've done a lot of testing with it. Uh, game one, I win because I'm, a, I'm just able to get field blowers every time I need them to get rid of their Garbotox and Floatstone, and I'm able to take a one-shot thanks to Dangerous Rogue. Um, so yeah, game one went as well as I could have hoped it to go. Um, I'm sorry, flip that over. That is how game two went. My bad. Game one, I was not able to find my field blowers. And uh, I, as I still got uh, Dangerous Rogue a one shot with it, um, I, I came down to two to two prizes and he was able to take the last two quicker than I was. Game two is where he missed a couple max elixirs. I was able to have a field blower every time I needed it and I kind of just ran through the deck from there. And then time was called, I think... I don't even think either of us had taken a prize yet when time was called. So that was my first tie of the day. I lost game one and I won game two. Sorry about that flub right there. Got the games uh, mixed up. So round three, I play against Drampa Espeon Garbador. Um, so game one, I... Game one, I didn't really know what I was playing against yet. Um, I believe he started a Buzzwall GX. He was playing Rainbow Energy and he teched in a Buzzwall GX. And I also saw Garbodor, uh, Trubbish. So I thought it was Buzzwall Garbodor. But it seemed to be a Drampa Garb with a 1 1 Espeon and a 1 Buzzwall GX because of the Rainbow Energy. Um, regardless of what was in the deck, he was able to just Righteous Edge my DCE, Acerola his Drampa. He played red card, so he red carded me turn one of games two and three. Then he would Parallel City game two, get out Garbotoxin. So it was just a really, really grindy games. Um, 
game one, I was able to take the win. Um, like I said, super grindy game, but you, if you just find a field blower and capitalize that turn, you can get ahead. And it also really helps that Lycan Rock hits Drampa for weakness. Uh, game two came down to... It came down to the very last turn. I think I got end to one or two um, with a trade available to me. And if I hit Guzma, I win. If I don't, he wins next turn. And I missed the Guzma. Um, so I lost game two. Again, a really, really grindy game because of them. Ability locking and red carding, parallel city, getting rid of our energy with Righteous Edge. Um... So yeah, lost game two, and then game three, we had, I think I had taken two prizes, and he had, I think maybe one prize each, uh, one or two prizes each, and after time was called and one of us took a turn, we just shook hands because there was no win condition on the board. So I'm at 102 going into round four, um, and I play against Zorok Gardevoir. Um, this matchup... I believe is a, uh, a favorable matchup for me. I've tested a lot. Just pick off the Ralts. If they get out of Glade, you Mew EX it. Um, so I'm really confident in this matchup. And I won games one and two. Uh, they both pretty much went the same. He would bridge it for his Zerua and Ralts. Um, a game one, I believe he misplayed because he bridged it for two Zerua and one Ralts. So I just took out the Ralts. Um, and he did start with a Zerua, so he had three Zerua, one Ralts. So I just, uh, on my, I went first, so on my turn two, I just Bloodthirsty eyed the Ralts, Riot Speeding it, and every time he put down a Ralts, I Riot Speeding it. Uh, and then game two kind of went the same way, I just took out every Ralts. Uh, he did get a Gardevoir out eventually, and I actually just played around it, um, because he was just hitting me for, like, 120 each time, so I would just Ace Arola, Bloodthirsty Eyes... You know, bring up the other Ralts on the bench that might turn into a Gallade or knock out a Zorark. Um, I might have ended up knocking out the Gardevoir with a Dangerous Rogue, but I'm not totally certain. I just really wasn't threatened by the Gardevoir at all. So yeah, uh, took two wins in a row there, round four. So I'm at 2 um, I know that I can potentially tie one more time, but a loss will have me out of Day 2 contention. Um, so next round is Zork Galisopod. Again, a match that I am confident in. Um, I just, you know, it, if you know how to play it, I think you can go in really confident. You just want to take out their wind pods. So game one, I do just that. I go first and I bloodthirsty eyes all of his wind pods. He, when he got out of Galisopod, I dangerous rogued it. Um, and when you're playing against Zorark Lycanroc and your entire board is just Zorarks and you have no Wimp Pods, it's really hard to do much of anything. So I kind of just took control. Uh, I wish he would have scooped. Uh, like, you know, when he saw that my board was two Lycanrocs, two Zorarks, and a Lele, and his board was just Zorarks and he could never one-shot my Lycanrocs. Um, but he didn't, so the game went on a little longer than it should have. Um, so we go on to game two. And he went first, so he was able to get Galisopods going before I could uh, effectively kill every Wimpod. Um, and that gave him a slight advantage. The end game came down to two prizes to two prizes. And I believe if he whiffed an energy on his last turn, I would have um, won the following turn. But he got the energy he needed. I think it was a grass energy for a first impression knockout. Um, and so we went to game three. And game three, once again, did not get very far. Um, it, time was called, and I think we both had six prizes. So that's another tie on my record. At this point, I'm 203, so I have to win out to make day two. Round six, I play against Vika Bulu which is a super iffy matchup. I'd say it's somewhere in the 50-50 range, but it can it might be a little unfavorable, a little unfavorable. Um especially with my build, I wasn't playing Sudowoodo counter, I wasn't playing Reverse Valley, so um not really teched out for this matchup. 
Um, so game one, I start Lele and top deck a rock rough pass. Then it goes to me. I puzzle nothing useful in the top three for puzzle pass. He nature's judgments. I scoop, um, game two, I was able to get the turn one Bridget and set up. Um, I killed two grubbins, but he kept getting out more. And I believe he got either a turn three or turn four uh, Vika Volt. And I just wasn't able to deal with that. I did kill one of his Bulus, but he just got out another one and kept running through me with Nature's Judgment. So uh, that was a really quick uh, 2 So I'm now out of day two contention, but I'm still playing for top 64, top 128. So I'm at 2-1-3. I just have to win out. And I get guaranteed points. I think I think I was guaranteed for forty points at that at if, with a five one three. Um, so next round I play against Zorak Galisopod, um, and like I said, I am pretty confident in this matchup, and I take a two zero against him. I think it took around thirty minutes. It wasn't too too long. Um, I just. You know, made the game pretty much unplayable for him. Game one, he scooped at when I was at three prizes because I killed three wimp pods in succession. And he was at that game state where he, his board is just Lele's and Zoroarks and he can't one shot my Lycan Rocks or my Zoroarks. So uh, he knew he was going to lose, so he scooped, which I wish my opponents earlier did, but, you know, can't change that. Um, and then we went to game two, and even though he went first, I was still able to do the same thing, just you know, take out every wimp pod before they turn into a Galisopod. And if they did turn into a Galisopod one turn, I had the floatstone multi-switch fighting energy, like in rock dangerous rogue on the Galisopod. Um, so that was nice. And I took game two. So at that point I'm at three, one, three, um, every match I played, I was super confident in except for Vika Bulu. Like I said, that's a really, uh, if you um, round eight, I played against Buzzwell Garbador. Um, I had a pretty good setup. My opponent, unfortunately, drew an extra card off of Cynthia. He drew seven, so I got a prize penalty. And then the next turn after he had knocked out a Rock Ruff with Jet Punch, and he played an N, he end to six. And I was like, whoa, 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 you were only supposed to draw five because you knocked out a rock rough last turn and then we look and he has six prizes he forgot to um take a prize the uh previous turn for the rock rough knockout so he just scooped there because um i think that would have been a game loss anyway and we didn't want to um call a judge over he knew it was a game loss so he just scooped up his cards before we had time to even discuss it um and we go on to game two, and I, he goes first, but I get, you know, Bridget for Zerua, Zerua, Rockruff. I get out of Mew turn two or three, and just kind of run through him with Mew and Dangerous Rogue. Um, so that is another win-win. Um, I'm at 4-1-3, so one more win, and I get top 128 guaranteed. Um, round nine, uh... My opponent kind of pissed me off a little because he kept asking, you know, let's ID so we get guaranteed top 256. But, you know, I really, really wanted to uh, try to win. Try to win as many games as I can, get as, get the best record I could. Um, because I was really confident in my playing and my deck and my list. So, you know, I was pretty confident that I could at least stand a chance against whatever my opponent was playing. Um, so, you know, I told him nicely, you know, I would like to play this out. I would rather win and get top 128 or lose and get nothing than tie and get 256. You know, um, I want I want to play this last round. If it was day two, I would have absolutely tied because that's a huge deal. Um, but, you know, for this, I really wanted to play it out because I was very confident in myself and my deck. Um, so he flips over Zerua Ra uh, yeah, Zerua Ralts. So he's playing Zork Gardevoir. Um, I'm, as I said earlier, very confident in this matchup. Game one goes as planned. I just dangerous rogue his Ralts. He gets his second Ralts evolved into a Gallade. Um, I parallel city him 
end him and knock out his Gallade with a Mew EX, and he can't even fill up his bench to return that Mew EX with a Riotous Beating. The following turn, I Float Stone, multi-switch to a, like, to a Rock Rough, attach Fighting Energy, uh, Bloodthirsty Eyes, Azuric, and Claw Slash it to go down the two prizes, and he scoops. Um, game two, he is able to get a Gallade out, and I'm not able to return it with a Mew EX. My setup is a little worse just because, you know, he went first, so he gets to evolve quicker um, if everything goes his way. He, I believe on turn two, he just mallowed for the Candy Gallade. Um, and if I knocked out the Gallade, it was with a Dangerous Rogue, so it was not with my um, preferred means of knocking it out. Um, it did go down to a close game, though, where he had to... It came down to, you know, how Zorak matchups frequently go. We both have two prizes, and we end each other and see who can get the Guzma. Um, and he was able to get the cards he needed to end the game there. And then game three, again, went kind of how game one went. Um, I just picked off all of his Ralts and didn't really allow him to set up. Um, it did come down to... A kind of close call at the end he was able to hit a two prizer and go down to one prize and I was at two um, but I had six cards in my deck before drawing two of them were puzzles and I had two trades so as long as the very bottom card of my deck was not a puzzle of time I won so I drew my card for turn traded two puzzles uh, puzzle for Lycanroc fighting energy bring up a Zorark and Claw Slash for the game so, I was really happy to finish 5-1-3. It's not a day two, but um, I was able to win a lot of my games due to my preparation and my confidence and my skill, and also the list that I worked a really long time on. So, if it was really rewarding to have games come down to knowing how to play the matchups instead of luck. Um, Vikabulu, of course, that was my loss. I did lose game one to a Lele, Rock Rough start, and draw pass. But, uh, game two, my opponent played exactly how he should. Um, and, you know, you do get those dead hands. But I was fortunate to not get very many of those bad draws throughout the day. Um, so, you know, if a couple of those ties went in my favor, it could have been a different day, but I'll happily take that plus 40 points, the 513 record, and know that I went in with a deck that I would go back into the tournament with. I don't think I, I did see some other Zork like in rock lists um alex hill played a pseudo wudo counter energy which i was testing um i think i actually tweeted that picture a couple days before charlotte um but i ended up going for more consistency um i am completely happy with this list i'll probably play it at cups uh really nothing to change here so thank you guys for watching um like i said my upload schedule is is back on track to Monday, Wednesday, Friday until I'm traveling again for regionals or something. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, and be sure to go follow me on Twitch, Celios underscore network. Um, I am now a Twitch affiliate and I have a sub emote up that's really, really cool. Um, and so go give me a follow on there if you like watching Twitch streams and you want more content outside of my YouTube. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time here on Celio's Network.